Hey guys, let's talk about Mooka Mook real quick. And I know that this doesn't look like the pictures and that's because this is my test bottle. I don't have um, the bottles in yet. So we're gonna use this beautiful pink, pink bottle. Um, I do have some of these in and left. There's a couple left and we just saw these pre-orders roll in you guys. And I just wanna thank you guys so much first off so much for putting your trust in us and supporting us through this and helping surf soap go up to a little bit of a higher level so thank you um okay so real quick with the mooka milk we had a couple questions about if we were going to sell a sprayer for our new leave-in conditioner um because if you guys saw in the directions it does say you can tip into your hands or spray throughout your hair to distribute and put in so let's talk real quick let's talk about sprayers so i have one here now, even if um, you have a sprayer that is bamboo or aluminum, um, steel, whatever, uh, usually they've either got a plastic straw or even this little circle right here is plastic. And this is a very well-loved and well-used sprayer, so I'm sorry. Um, some component of it is gonna be plastic, right? And when we were designing Mooka Milk, I think almost like a year ago now, we put out a poll and asked you guys if you would be okay with a little bit of plastic. I didn't say what this is for, by the way, but I said, do you want a little bit of plastic? Would that be okay? Or do you want zero plastic, like bar none, right? And you guys said, we don't want any plastic. And I agreed. I just wanted to make sure. Um, I mean, that is part of our tagline. And so we wanted to make sure we designed things um, that sort of fit that mold, right? Um, unfortunately, a plastic free sprayer doesn't exist yet. Um, and so we decided that we would design a product that was able to be poured out and used or sprayed and used. Here's why, because I would love to encourage you guys to take a look around your house and see this sprayer comes from an empty, it's like a spray gel yeah like an aloe gel spray um look around your house and see what sort of products you're low on or you're out of where you could actually reuse this these things the trash man's driving by um, we want to encourage reusing items in our house in order to make their life last a little bit longer we didn't want to add plastic to that big plastic pool even if it was recycled plastic or bioplastic because bioplastic only composts or degrades in very very specific situations and we've got a couple blog posts on that so go look that up if you're curious and so we really really wanted to give you guys something that is usable but also encourages that like i said so um, they'll all come with their recyclable aluminum um, tops and then the gasket and this I don't have a gasket inside this one but <laughs> the gasket that comes inside is um, biodegradable as well so um, you're gonna get it like this not pink though and what you can do is how it can be used is you can pour it and I've already put some in my hair today so I'm just gonna pour a little bit out to show you guys kind of what it looks like um, so you can see that it's pretty thin and then you're going to distribute it through your hands and then just put it through your hair um you can use it i usually use it on towel dried hair um you can use it on dry hair as a styler as well it's going to help um define the, some of those beach waves and define some of those curls and you can tame your little frizzies with it and it works really really well so um you can use it that way or you can take a look around your bathroom and see if you've got any of these so we have the threads designed so that they're pretty universal right um basically whatever little sprayer that you have as long as the straw is long enough is going to fit right on there nice and tight and then you can just spray it through your hair and it sprays through um with it being a little bit of a thicker product sometimes you'll have to rinse out the straw but this is our way of not adding to that plastic pool but also encouraging like i said looking around your house and seeing what sort of things that can be reused, repurposed, and make their lives last a little bit longer um, so that we don't have to add to that plastic problem. So that is Mooka Milk. That is the answer to why 
it's going to come with a lid. Uh, hopefully one day we will be able to offer a plastic free option, um, but that day is just not here yet. So I just wanted to explain it to you guys um, and tell you guys a little bit of a behind the scenes of what's going on with Nuka Milk and why we decided to sell it like we do. So uh, again, thank you guys so much. There's like a couple of these left, like I said. Um, I just really, it just warms my heart just to have the support uh, of this group and how many of you sent in like sweet messages and put little notes on your orders and stuff. It was so great. It really, really makes our day, um, especially when it's been kind of an interesting couple of months and an interesting year, to be honest. If you've been following our story, it's been kind of a, an interesting year for us. So anyways, we want to thank you guys. We send love from all of the Surf Soap team and I can't wait to get these out to you. Um, just as soon as everything comes in, they're going to go straight out. So thank you guys so much. And I hope you guys have a beautiful weekend ahead.